All right, so on this video, we're going to take a closer look at the breadboard power supplies that I use. So these particular ones are made by Elegoo. I know YW Robot makes boards like these, and I've seen other boards that uh, they don't look like there's a name on there. So I think anybody can make one of these modules here. But in any case, normally we use one of these boards to power the rails. So as you can see here, we have a little jumper. Right now it's at 5 volts. If I moved it to these two spots, it would be 3.3 volts. If I move it to the two center spots, it would be off. So that's the voltage at the rail there. And uh, these two are independent from each other, but you can run positive to negative or positive to negative just fine. So that's the normal way to use it. You'll see that all the time. This video I'm going to focus on this USB here. This is the female side of the USB. And then these pins here. So while we have this uh, close up, this says GND for ground. I know it's not showing up very well. So these four pins are ground pins. Up here you see 3.3 volts. It's pointing to those two pins. And you see 5 volts. It's pointing to those two pins. So we're going to take a closer look at the USB and those pins. So now to begin with, the USB, I have here a USB adapter that you uh, plug into a USB power supply and you have alligator clips on the other end and so you can see here we have an LED circuit here we are applying 5 volts to that circuit and that's what USB operates by and we can take a uh, voltage measurement like that and you can see we got 5 volts coming out of there. So you can get 5 volts just out of the USB. So that's an output. That's not an input to power the board. It's just an output. So now that brings us back to the pins. As I said before, the top two on the right are 5 volt. Top two on the left are 3 volts. All four on the bottom are ground. And so what we're going to do, we'll start with the black jumper wire so this is a female to male jumper wire so there's pins coming out here we need a female side of the wire to put over the pin and now this is going to come to this side of the LED LEDs are diodes they light up though and they're diodes though they only conduct in one direction so the longer lead needs to be towards the more positive side of the circuit this is the anode the shorter lead the cathode needs to be towards the more negative side of the circuit which of course is ground in this circuit and so now we'll take a red jumper and we're going to put it onto one of the pins that say 5 volts on them and it shouldn't matter which one actually now we'll use this to power that circuit and I'll turn the multimeter on and we'll see what voltage we're getting at the LED and there you can see it's 5 volts so now I'm going to yank the red wire and just put it onto one of the 3.3 volts you may be able to tell the LED is not quite as bright but there you can see 3.3 volts at the circuit and that's one thing to be aware of with ground generally ground is connected at every uh, power source spot so this ground is connected to this ground so it doesn't matter which one you plug it into as long as uh, you don't have it in the off setting anywhere there's a ground that's a voltage reference point every ground comes to the same point 